talk about this. You got your contract to take care of. How good is that going to this season and then uh, the rest of that thing? Yeah, no, it was good, you know, just to um, get some security, you know, with this great organization, um, knowing that they like me enough, like me enough to keep me uh, for a little bit. Uh, but now, you know, back to square one, grinding. Um, we got a season ahead of us now, and we got to, you know, stack days, you know, go for that. Everybody said you got, you got beat last year for seven wins. So how do you exactly do that? I think when you. Uh, when you play long enough, you understand that it's just necessary to be successful. I mean, you can't really can't take those those wins with you. Um, teams have great seasons and then can end up having a bad season, and we understand that we don't want that. So you know, we get back to a zero zero mindset um, and just focus at the task at hand. Today you haven't run into the Jalen Williams, Jalen Williams problem, but you have another Isaiah. How's that working out so far? It's been good. Yeah, actually, we settled it. We settled it pretty early. Uh, Figured, out, figured I'm gonna go by Zay, and then uh, he goes by Hart. Even though we both, you know, grew up going by Zay, but we don't, we don't have as bad of a problem as them because they have the same first and last name. So, we know. Yeah, 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 it's a little difficult. <laughs> One other question for you. Uh, I'm sure you've gone up against Alex a time or two um, in your career. What makes him a challenging guy to face? Uh, he's just gonna do whatever it takes, you know, to win a basketball game. Um, he. he plays hard, extremely hard offensively and defensively. Um, he does all the little things. Um, he's shown that he's, you know, somewhat of a leader. So, and just being able to get him on our team, you know, play some pickup, you just get to see everything, you know, that he's put into the game. And so, um, definitely, definitely great to have him on our, squ on our squad. There's a lot of good shooters in this league. What differentiates you is your contested three-point ability. What goes into being able to block out a defender and, and maintain your focus on the shot when you're being contested? Uh, I think it's just, you know, being a shooter my entire life is just something that you learn to play through. You know, nobody's going to give you a, a wide open look. And so my thing is, like, if they don't block it, then they should go in. So um, just continue to, you know, work on my shot each and every day, and the rest is just repetition. And it's, it's all the same when you get on the court. Cool. I really like this thing about playing with my heart. Just, I look at the story I imagine being around. Yeah, I mean, he's a, a hell of a player, you know, a hell of a rebounder, but he's really good at, you know, you know, creating action on the offensive end. Uh, so I think that's going to, only thing it's going to do is just compliment my game as well as his so we can, you know, kind of, you know, tag team or whatever um, and just build build chemistry that way. I think it's going to be, you know, really good going into the season. One last thing for me, how have you seen Shea evolve as a leader and maybe value? Yeah, first and foremost, um, you know, he, he, he leads by example. He um he just puts in the work and, and it shows um every day on the court, um, I think. And now he's starting to, you know, kinda of build more of a vocal leadership as well. And so he's, you know, improving that as well. So I think that's only gonna, you know, help us, you know, achieve even more. A lot of what we've been talking about with everybody coming through is obviously the defense with the addition of Alex and Isaiah. And Love watching knockdown threes. Everybody does, but you take a tremendous amount of satisfaction blocking a big dude's shot. When you get the opportunity to contest on a defensive end, you can just see how much satisfaction you get out of it. And with all of the defense that's coming in, the defense was already here. How much fun is it going to be able to bring that every night? Uh, it's going to be uh, extremely fun. I think you know when you're getting stops, it makes the game even more fun. You get to you know have more freedom on the offensive end. Um, but we just understanding that there are two sides to, to the ball, not just offense. Um, for me, it's just one way that I'm able to, you know, find ways to stay on the court, especially when I'm not, you know, knocking down shots to my best ability. Um, and so you, know, you make, you know, defensive plays, whether that's blocking the shot or taking the charge or getting a steal, um, it just makes it all that much better. Say earlier you mentioned that if a guy doesn't block your shot, you feel like it should go in. How much do you feel like confidence just in sort of like the pie of like shooting goes into it? Because, you know, you have your footwork, your form. Mm -hmm. How much of it do you think is just <laughs> I think um, to be, you know, a really good shooter in this league, a, a good chunk of it is confidence. Um, see a lot of players that, you know, can shoot, you know, in like workouts or in the gym, but whenever, you know, get into a game, it's like it's not completely there. So I think that's just, you know, being able to carry that confidence and trust that uh, the work that you put in, because um, the more you work at something, I feel like the more confident you can be in that. And so um, just putting the work in just helps me bring confidence to the game. Steve? Isaiah. 
within the franchise, no one's making any bold predictions, but I guess that's, that's, that's to decide whether you're going to be the best in the West or maybe win it all. But when you look at this roster from top to bottom, do you feel like this is your best chance to get one? Um, looking at the roster, I mean, I just feel like we have um, a recipe to be, you know, successful when we, you know, stack days and, you know, put the work in. It's got, and nothing's given at the end of the day. So no matter what you have um, as far as the roster of players go, um, you still have to earn. You know, you can't, you can't just say, you know, we got this roster, so we're just going to be, you know, this successful. We still got, you know, put the work in, trust one another, play the right way. Um, then everything else will play out. Barry? Yeah, Barry Trammell, Tulsa World. I think I counted. There's five of you guys who don't start, but were on the team two years ago. Mm-hmm. And that kind of, the NBA is sort of a transient league, but your roster is pretty stable. How does that help you guys as you as you try to navigate the West? Yeah, I mean, so I mean, if you've seen our games, uh, we we can sometimes play a lot of players and cause us to go really deep into our bench, and so. Uh, Everybody that dresses out is, in one way, shape, or form, effective um, in something that they do. And so just being ready at all times and having guys that can just, you know, carry over, even though they're you know, not starters, are still um, helping the team win. Anyone else? Last one with you. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just wondering when the, when the two new guys, you knew they were coming, was one of your first thoughts that you might have more space because you, you're always looking for more space to separation to shoot? Uh, I mean, definitely. Um, when, you know, you see trades, you try to figure out how you know you could play play amongst them. Uh, but uh, what I what I thought more than anything was like, shoot, I saw Isaiah Hardenstein's like offensive rebounding numbers like last season. Like he he could, he's aggressive to the boards. He gets a lot of rebounds. Um, but when it comes to offense, yeah, I definitely you know see how he works, you know, creating action at the top, um, DHOs and all that, setting good screens. Uh, so I think it, we complement each other pretty well. Thank you, Isaiah. Thank you. Thanks, Isaiah.